Hello primary three. So a few lessons ago we had a look at the outside features of a castle but in this video we're going to have a wee look at some of the rooms inside of a castle. This is a picture of Dean Castle and as a lot of you know we're going to be going a trip here in a few weeks so I'll show you some pictures of Dean Castle but I'm not going to show you too many because we do want to be surprised when we visit the castle in person. First room that we are going to be looking at is the Great Hall. Now it was actually called the Great Hall because it was so big and so great. It was probably the most important room in a medieval castle because it was used by everyone who lived in the castle and also by guests. The Great Hall was used as a dining room, often for medieval banquets. And we're going to look at medieval banquets a bit more today. We'll have a look at what food they ate and a lot of different things to do with a medieval banquet. But that wasn't the only thing the Great Hall was used for. It was also used for entertainment. Could anyone remember, if we're thinking back to last lesson, when we looked at castle jobs, who was it who entertained the people in the castle? Can we have a wee think? I'll give you a wee second. Have a wee think. Now I'm hoping that someone said a jester. Remember that jester? did all the castle entertainment with jokes and dances and being a bit silly. The Great Hall had high ceilings and usually at the end of a Great Hall there was a raised platform so that's just a, a, a bit in the, the floor that is higher than the rest of the floor and usually a high table would sit here and at the high table, the highest ranking lords and nobles would sit here. So that's just the most important and the most powerful people would sit there. And everyone else would sit lower down on the lower parts of the floor when eating the medieval banquet. Here's some photos. And actually this photo is the Great Hall in Dean Castle. Now I'm only going to show you this one picture because we'll be able to see it when we go and visit the castle. Next room we're going to be looking at is the royal bed chambers. The lord and his lady would sleep in these chambers because there would be a big bed and maybe a fireplace or a wee table. And usually this was on the upper floor in the solar of the castle. Medieval castles also had a kitchen. The castle cook would make all the meals in here. These kitchens had huge fireplaces for smoking and roasting food. And actually, later on today, we're going to find out what food the cooks made in the kitchen. The kitchen was also next to the buttery, the bottle ray, and the pantry. And these are all rooms that stored food and drink. Inside many medieval castles, there was a dungeon. Now, dungeons were used for holding prisoners, and usually they were underground, and they had no windows, and sometimes they didn't even have doors. It could be a hole in the ground that a prisoner was pushed down into. Usually they were cold and dark, so you wouldn't really want to end up in a dungeon. Sometimes in a medieval castle, there would be servants' quarters. Now usually this was a part of the castle, it might just be a room which had some beds or maybe just hay. And the servants would sleep in this room. But sometimes the servants would end up sleeping in the great hall just on the floor of the Great Hall, but that was if they were lucky. A lot of servants actually didn't have a bed or a servant's quarter to sleep in because they were expected to work very long hours. And when they did sleep, it was usually anywhere they could find. Whether that's in the stables or on the floor, they would just have to find somewhere they could sleep. Now, of course, medieval castles had to have some sort of toilet but they weren't like the toilets we have today. Usually people in the medieval times had to go to the toilet in a hole. Now this hole was called a garderobe and it led outside. So whatever somebody did in the toilet, it would end up outside in the moat. So you can imagine the smell around the castle grounds. It wouldn't have been very nice. 